The growth of the textile industry is high due to an ever increasing usage of textile products. Textile processing requires various stages and numerous chemicals. The waste produced from this industry are in the form of wastewater effluent in addition to solid waste like fabric soaked in oil and grease. These wastes are toxic and hazardous to the environment. Did you know that the amount of water utilized in making a single piece of jeans is almost 7600 liters? The misery doesn't end here. The amount of time it takes for the environment to decompose that water is almost 30 to 40 years. Project Avalon began as a campaign to eliminate this textile waste and in turn generate sustainable products. A major focus area of this project is also to eradicate problems like poverty and unemployment. We at Enactus create entrepreneurial projects so that it can change people's life and help them to create a better and a more sustainable world. Now you know what Enactus is all about. Let me tell you, our college, the North Cap University, has its own local chapter for Enactus NCU. It is one of the most prestigious ones here. Initiated in the year 2014, Enactus NCU has been actively addressing a variety of socio-economic by inculcating entrepreneurial spirit to provide the underprivileged a better financial stability. In recent years, fashion brands have accelerated their commitment towards environmental sustainability, especially in relation to the elimination of hazardous chemicals, the reduction of CO2 emissions, and lately also in the adoption of circular economic practices. The global COVID-19 outbreak revealed the weak points of global supply chains as the country restricted international trade. Supply chain logistics were disrupted and orders were cancelled due to suddenly diminishing demand. The new business scenario is forcing the whole industry to review strategies and plans. This gave rise to our project, Avril. Vibya Fourth once said, Fast fashion is like fast food. Post the initial sugar rush, it's just leave a bad taste in your mouth. Among all the industries that work to create valuable products for consumers, the fashion industry is one of the very few that has never come to a complete halt. Even when the world faced pandemic, fashion industry managed to grow at an impressive rate. But little do people know that fashion industry is also one of the most polluting industry in the world. The waste produced through textile is majorly disposed in landfills, congests water bodies and is often burned which further leads to a waste being discarded at the sites that are dangerously close to human settlements. Keeping all the factors and problems in mind, we present our project Harmony to you, specifically designed for the purpose to upcycle this textile waste into attractive and cheap products. Sounds interesting, right? Now let's take an example to understand it better. For example, I buy a bulk of unsealed jeans from the school chain markets. The next step would be buying sewing machines. Speaking of sewing machines, some of the low skilled workers that we have would be having those too. The next steps would include dyeing, stitching, pressing, and packaging of the products. See, it's that easy. Now taking a look at the finalized products, we have jeans, tote bags and earrings whose cost price ranges from Rs 25 to 110 whereas the selling price ranges from 100 to 210 rupees. One of our primary objectives is to bridge the gap between the so-called upper class and lower class through sustainable fashion. As the products are versatile, rather than focusing on one age group, we have focused on many genders and age groups. Need we say, 41 studies were reviewed, out of which 85% deal with recycling products and most of them are the most studied products. The impact of recycling and reusing textile is, recycling textile saves landfill space, recycling textile helps to reduce the pollution and environmental harm. It lesser energy is consumed. It provides low cost quality products. Keeping used textile out of waste reduces government disposal cost. It protects the planet for future generations. Also, it helps in many social and economic benefits. Lastly, it saves dyes and fixing agents cost. Now let's take a look at the Sustainable Development Goals associated with this project. Project Avalon covers six, namely improved nutrition and sanitation, promotion of equitable quality education and gender equality. Also since we are planning to pass this project to the underprivileged sections of the society, this fulfills the goal of decent working economic growth in addition to sustainable cities and communities. 